this parcel with my customs label means here are parts for my ENL conversion kit finish uh, to finish my EL conversion kit so this is uh, basically I can open it up I bought this from eHobby eHobby Sports or how is the eHobby shop I think this is this is how it is the full name of the shop that basically the airsoft shop remember now the correct name for the website sorry about that but basically if you search it on Google we will find out what I where I bought from so what do we have here first the GP oil set grease set for AAG gearbox Basically, you can use this code to find it out on the eHobby website. So, we have here bearings, grease, cylinder grease, and uh, this is ah gear bricks. So, grease for for your gears, for your cylinder, and for your bearings. So, really nice. I will probably use it asap as soon as possible. Next, we have here. I just turn on the side. Next, we have here uh, this Mad Bull uh, M130 nonlinear spring. Uh, why I bought this? This uh, because you will soon find it out. So really, really great looking spring. Who knows how good it will be? Next, we have a Tokyo Marui, or oh, not Tokyo Marui, this is from Gauder, yeah, Gauder upgrade cylinder for Marui G3, M16 and AK. This will be also for some special here, I think you can already see, this is a gearbox, so basically this will go into the gearbox, but more soon. Next. Maybe we can try with this. This is motor cage from APS. Gearbox free mo motor cage. So we already know why we have here a motor. This is Element Ultra Torque uh, AG motor, short type. Very nice. I heard great, great stuff regarding this motor. So you will see that soon. And the last. On the list, we have an APS gearbox, the Silver Edge Extreme Gearbox 8mm German bearings version 3 with front wiring. So, it's really interesting gearbox. This will be used on my ENL. Let's hope it will fit because not, I will be happy, not really happy. So, looks really nice. Now, why I did uh, buy the extra spring? Because on the pictures there was no spring uh, in the in the gearbox, so I didn't know if there is spring or there is not the spring. So I bought it in just in case. And also um, there is no motor, as you can see, no motor cage, so I have to buy this one as well. And the cylinder, because I have long barrel. Um, gun this is for short barrel guns so that's why I bought, bought the cylinder set as well uh, little about this uh, gearbox looks really nice this this is really really nice nice feeling metal I think it is coated also very nice you can see here uh, the the bar bearings so there are no no slide bearings. I think this is correct name for the English. And um, you can mount the hop up chamber with, with the gearbox, so not to have any uh, air out. Um, this is maybe strange that um, it is not fully in. 
what else this this cabling i don't know if this is low 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 resistant cabling um i have no idea really maybe i will measure it up and also you got here your fuse and i also need to test where to put the fuse if i will keep the fuse or i will remove it because well you have your uh, uh, your mosfet installed uh, so and uh, for the mosfet um, if there will be some short circuit the mosfet will simply explode and i don't use lipo batteries so um, I don't need, 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 really need to worry about my battery exploding. Now, this is something interesting. Now it is on the semi position. Listen to this. Okay, not, not semi, sorry. Semi. Can you hear this? This clicking sound? This is really interesting. Um, basically, on full auto, there is no clicking sound. Um, the trigger is uh, not really, uh, not really easy to press when I compare it to my SEMA AKSU. It is going uh, relatively hard. I don't know if somebody likes that or not, but uh, for sure my SEMA doesn't do this. Uh, it is nice touch, but I am afraid this will reduce the lifespan of the trigger really much. I am afraid of this. And when I will fire mostly on the semi, I really am afraid this will this will not be good. I will need to open the gearbox up because I will replace the cylinder as well. But before I do that, I will uh, uh, install the MOSFET and uh, replace the the connector because I have different batteries. But maybe, maybe, maybe I can already try it out because I have one battery, one battery. So to fill it up, so to basically test the everything in working condition here. And I don't know why I don't trust this trigger. Okay, but there was no other video of this uh, of this Silver Edge Extreme Gearbox uh, version 3. So I hope it will help somebody who was uh, looking for this video to see how it looks like. And I, I have good feelings from it. Basically, I like this this uh, thing here that you simply can replace the springs with no really uh, we need much not much uh, really issue for this and um, just need to wa watch out this trigger really this will be interesting to see and uh, here they almost break it broke it because you can see it touches the the cable here so I will slightly unscrew it and fit the cable better. And the gears looks okay. There's something here. It is not really holding that that good. But well, we will see. We will see how it will work on my gun. Uh, maybe the last thing here. You may be wondering what is this? Why it is here? It is uh, simply ready for the uh, blowback system. I don't know which type of blowback system here you could put, but it is ready. And that is all. Yeah. 
Nije za ulimu. Ok, thanks for watching. Uh, hope I will finish my NNL soon. And um, I will make a video, another video for it. And we will see. Ok, cross fingers. And uh, yeah, like this. <laughs> cross fingers and... Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, if you have any questions write them below and uh, like, subscribe and share. Okay, see ya.